the summertime, it can get pretty hot outside. What sorts of things do we want to look for uh, with our pets? One of the big things in the summer is heat stroke, and that's when an animal's body temperature goes above normal. Uh, pets, normal body temperature is about 38 and a half degrees Celsius. Anything that's 40 degrees and above would be heat stroke. How do you determine that? Uh, the best way to determine that is with a rectal thermometer, which can be purchased at a local pharmacy. Uh, if you don't have one on hand though, and you came across an animal that uh, you thought might have heat stroke, one of the big signs is the gums mm -hmm. and the insides of the ears. Instead of being pink, you'll notice that they're really red. They'll also be panting uh, and assuming that they're still conscious, they'll be pacing around, uh, a lot of drooling and just desperation. So what should pet guardians do if uh, they suspect their animal might have heat stroke? So the first step with heat stroke is actually to call a vet. We want to find out how serious this issue is. We also want to let them know what we're doing and find out if there's anything more that we could be doing. We want to get an animal out of that hot situation. So if it's in a hot vehicle or a hot uh, room of some sort, we want to get them out of there uh, into the shade and offer them, if they're conscious, some drinking water. We can also use water, such as the spray bottle that we have here, just to spray them down and start to cool them off. But we're never going to use ice water or really, really cold water because it's just too shocking on the system. Okay. Uh, what if we see a dog in a hot car and the windows aren't rolled down or they're rolled down just a little bit? BCSPCA actually has a cruelty hotline that you can phone and they'll be able to give you some advice on uh, what to do and whether or not they can come out and help you.